All right, it's time to get cooking in Nanny Bubby's kitchen. Today she's making a delicious breakfast dish for dinner. It's called shakshuka. Nanny Bubby is joining us now to show us how to make it. Hello, happy Friday. Oh, happy Friday to you. So I want to tell you how I can make your Thursday very, very happy, or your Thursday night, especially when your children get a little bit older. So Nanny Bubby's house, every Thursday night is breakfast for dinner. How do you like that? I love and that. So for your, yes, and so for your children, like they, like as they get older, Friday is always like a test day, math exam, spelling test, whatever, and a lot of anxiety comes with the Thursday night. But when they get in the car, if you can remind them it's breakfast for dinner tonight, what do you want? And they can do waffles to pancakes to your husband and you say shakshuka. And a lot of children love shakshuka. So this is how it starts. And you can freeze this and just throw it down and uh, make it for dinner. So here we go. I started with, if you can see, I had to soften these before you got here. I started with onions and peppers and garlic. They're nice and soft. And then I'm gonna put in two cans of organic fire roasted diced tomatoes. There we go, right into here. And we're gonna cook this down until it starts to thicken. Now we're gonna add, we've already, already added a lot of salt to make it start to tenderize and cook down. And now we're going to add paprika. Can you see that? Yes. Teaspoon, cumin and uh, you know red pepper flakes quarter of a teaspoon more or less depending on your taste we're going to take all that and just dump it right in and at this point you're going to set it aside and let it cook and thicken okay so because we have the magic of television here we need to set that aside and i have one that has already been thickened so at this point what we're going to do with this is we are going to, sorry, I gotta get a little towel here because I got it all over my hands. What we're gonna do here, here we go, back in the game, is as this heats up, we're going to take our greens. And these. this is straight from Nanny Bubby's uh, garden. We've got kale, we've got collard greens and a little bit of spinach. And you put this in at the very end and you wilt it. Boy, I'm throwing things all over this kitchen. Are you seeing how messy I'm being here, Lindsay? I'm just... It's hidden. It I'm looks just, really clean from our perspective. <laughs> I'm just slopping it in here. I don't know what's <laughs> happened to me in my own kitchen. I tell you what. Okay, so there you go. And as this heats up, it just starts to wilt. I'll put a little bit more in, like so. And then in order to keep this, you know, when you cook with tomatoes, it gets very acidy. And the recipe originally called for... Uh, sugar, but I don't use sugar because you know me and sugar, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. But I am using coconut yogurt and I'm putting in two heaping tablespoons of that and that will keep this from getting very um, uh, acidy and it sweetens it up just enough. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a well and we're gonna do that well with this right here and we're gonna crack eggs and we're gonna poach these eggs if you can see. Whoop. Here we go, sloppy again. One, and another one. Whoop, there we go. I wish I were like Julia egg Child. Crack. That's talent. Yeah, <laughs> Julia Child had this down. I am not so good, let me tell you. And another one. So at this point, so actually I usually put about six to nine eggs in my shakshuka, and you can do one or two things. You can either take this and you can cover it like you would fried eggs and the, you know, there's a covering on the top if you just cover it, or you can take it and you can put it in the broiler and let it broil, which is what I just did. So if you follow me over to the Chapman oven here, okay. let me get this stopped, and we're gonna open this up and I'll show you how beautiful this is. It got a little bit browned. Also, I forgot to mention that you're also going to throw feta cheese over the top before you put it into the broiler. Oh. So look at that. Yeah. And so you see this. The eggs are right here. Yep. There's the eggs. And then just to give it a little color, you're going to sprinkle because something always looks beautiful Ooh. out of the oven when you throw the parsley on it. And that, my friend, is how you make this beautiful shakshuka. And right here, you can see there's five eggs, right? And you just dip in. Let me grab this this right here, 10 seconds, so and you good. just pull up the eggs, and there you have it.
That looks so good. And I feel like I could do that, right, Rocky? Rocky and I were drooling watching yeah. this. Oh, um, I, I love, yes, yes, yes. I, I love that. Like I and can I just it, say? I'd rather her do it. Yes. <laughs> oh, I have a free gift for all of our listeners. Uh, Nannybubby.com slash spices, 19 essential herbs and spices that you need to have for your kitchen. Oh, I love it. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Guys, check out Nanny Bubby's Kitchen and Garden on social media <laughs> and online at nannybubby.com. We also want to thank Chapman Automotive for sponsoring this segment. Rocky.